Next here from uh, Representative Josh Harder of California, who has brought a, a charismatic guest with him uh, <laughs> at the dais. Uh, as you can see, this is right here a life-size nutria, uh, commonly referred to as a swamp rat, that we've named Nelly to illustrate the size of the nutria and to show you what we're really up against here. Uh, nutria can grow up to 40 pounds. Nelly here is more of a mid-sized nutria. She probably weighed somewhere around 20 pounds. Uh, it's tough to see, but she also has uh, what the LA Times called nacho cheese teeth uh, that are used to eat plants that are native to wetlands and swamps. And Nellie and her friends really need these teeth because they eat a lot. In fact, nutria like this eat a quarter of their weight in food every single day. Uh, they're very friendly with each other. One female can lead to 200 offspring every single year. And the California Department of Fish and Wildlife has warned that if we don't take action immediately, there will be 250,000 nutria in California within five years. Uh, we have to swamp the, uh, stop the swamp rat invasion before it gets out of control. They're a threat to our native wildlife and our local ecosystems. I've heard the real concerns of inaction from both farmers and environmentalists. This issue unites them in a way very few issues in front of this committee do. My bill would simply revive a program that has proven success, that the state of Maryland used to almost entirely eliminate the infestation in the Chesapeake Bay. Uh, this program uses a variety of strategies to control and eradicate the invaders, and it ended up saving a ton of money in the long run in Maryland. My bill would bring back that program and make California eligible and funded at a rate of $7 million. This is a tiny investment compared to what will be needed if we do not nip this problem in the bud.